video, let's learn about the epithelia. The epithelia is defined as one or more layers of cell that covers the outer surface of the body or it lines the luminal surface of the tubular surfaces and cavities of the body. Now let's learn the characteristics of the epithelial tissue. The epithelial tissue is very cellular with little intercellular space. The epithelial tissue is usually avascular. The cells rest on a basement membrane. The cells show polarity. Cells may display surface modification. And the functions of the epithelium the functions are the protection, absorption, secretion and the exchange. Now let's learn about the classification of the epithelia in a flowchart. An epithelium that consists of only one layer of cells, it is known as unilayered or simple epithelium. And when the epithelium consists of many cells, it is called as the multilayered or the stratified epithelium. And the other type is the pseudostratified epithelium. Now let's talk about the unilayered or the simple epithelium. When the cells are flattened and their height being very little as compared to the width, such epithelium is called as the squamous epithelium. So the flat cells is the squamous epithelium. So in squamous epithelium, the cells are flattened and their height is very little as compared to the width. And the second variety in the unilayered simple epithelium is the cuboidal epithelium in which the height and width of the cell is more or less equal. So in the cuboidal epithelium, the height and width of the cell of the epithelium are more or less equal. That is, they look as squares in a section. And the third one in the unilayered or the simple epithelium is a columnar epithelium. When the height of the cell is more than width, it is described as the columnar epithelium. So in the columnar epithelium, the height is greater than the width of the cell. And now coming to the multilayered or the stratified epithelium, it is of two types, the stratified squamous epithelium and the transitional epithelium. In the stratified squamous epithelium, the deeper layers of the cell are in columnar shape and the surface layer of the cells are flattened or the squamous in shape. In the multilayered epithelium, that is the stratified epithelium, the epithelia consists of multiple layers with the basal layer resting on the basement membrane. And the epithelium is named according to the shape of the cell of the most superficial layer. So in this epithelium, the layers of cells are arranged upon the basement membrane. And the types are the stratified squamous, stratified cuboidal and the stratified columnar. In the stratified squamous epithelium, the deeper layers are of columnar cells but proceeding towards the surface, it becomes increasingly fattened or squamous in shape. So the epithelium will be like this. That is the squamous epithelium and the nuclei will be here. And this is the basement membrane. And now coming to the stratified cuboidal epithelium, the surface cells are in cuboidal in shape. So this is the cuboidal stratified epithelium. And in the stratified columnar epithelium, the surface cells are columnar in shape. And for the columnar cells, the nuclei will be basal. And now the second type of epithelium in the multilayered epithelium is the transitional epithelium in which the deep layers are cuboidal, rounded or polygonal. And the surface layer of the cells are round umbrella shaped and these are not flattened. This is the deep layer, the surface layer around and umbrella shape. So this epithelium is the transitional epithelium. And now coming to the last type that is the pseudostratified type. 
In true sense, this is a simple epithelium as each cell rests on the basement membrane. But this epithelium gives an appearance of a multi-layered epithelium due to the unequal height and shape of the cells. In the pseudostratified type, there are the single layers of cell. Those are present with unequal height and they give the multi-layered appearance. That is why the name indicates pseudo that is the false and stratified meaning layered. Let's see the pseudostratified epithelium in a diagram. So this is the basement membrane and these are the cells. So this is an example of the pseudostratified epithelium because in this epithelium there is only a single layer of the cells but the cells are arranged unequally that is the height of the cell is unequal here is the small cell and it gives an appearance of a multi-layered epithelium or the stratified epithelium so guys this is all about the basics and classification of the epithelium if you like this video do subscribe to my channel and do look at some of my recent videos and playlists